Competitors, welcome and congratulations making it to the National Craft Championships. It's a big deal. It's awesome. Congratulations. I know it's probably been a hectic few months for you, and I'm guessing the last couple days have been really crazy. I'm hoping that I can help ease your mind a little bit. Start off. We've got a lot of competitors all in the blue shirts. How many out there are kind of nervous about the next couple days? Raise your hands. Yeah, you know, that's kind of how I was. I was talking with a few of you this morning. I was the same way. I was confident in my ability, but I was nervous with the unknown, not knowing what to expect. And I was hoping that my NC story, NCC story would help you get through this week. So March of 2008, I arrive in Puerto Rico, not really knowing what to expect, just knowing that I have to build a bunch of ductwork. I get there, and I was amazed by the pageantry, just how big the scale was. Everything was people in suits walking around, and it's just unbelievable. Sponsors everywhere. I didn't know how to, how to act. First thing, I could not eat. I tried. I, I just couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. The nerves were just killing me. So we come to the Wednesday, opening session, much like this here. And I walk in there, and we're prated in like cattle, just like you guys were. But that's okay, because it's about you this week. And seeing all the people in the suits and thinking, wow, this is a big deal. We sit through the opening session. I had a little bit better understanding on what I was going to do for the week. Come into the orientation, and it felt like information was just being thrown at me left and right, and I couldn't, I couldn't process it fast enough. There's just so much going on. Get to the written test, and I had myself worked up like crazy over this written test. I couldn't eat lunch before. I'm worried about what if there's something on this test that, that I didn't cover, or what if there's, there's stuff in here and I'm not going to be able to get it done in the amount of time that I have. I tell you what, guys, I came out of that two-hour test with no surprises. Everything that was on that test, I had covered in my apprenticeship. It was in a module or it was in training at some point. So I felt pretty good. Wednesday night comes around. We go on to the on-site uh, the orientation at the competition center. And I remember walking into the competition hall for the first time thinking, wow, this is like the biggest thing I've ever seen. But you know what? Once I got in there and I saw the area and I saw what I'd be working with, this is what I work with every day. This isn't anything out of the ordinary. So Wednesday night, the night before the hands-on competition, I'm thinking, it'd probably be a good idea to get something to eat. Guess what? I couldn't eat. Nerves had me going. Competition was the next day, and I didn't know how I was going to get through it. Thursday morning, get to the competition hall, get my tools in the area. Got about 15, 20 minutes before the buzzer goes off, and I don't even know what happened at that time. Before you know it, I hear the air horn. Air horn goes off. I start working. Air horn goes off again. Three hours went by like that. Those three hours are going to go fast, guys. Just stick with your heads down and do what you do. Go through lunch, sitting in lunch, and I'm thinking, you know what? This is what I do every day. This isn't so bad. So what do I do? I go back my next three hours. I finish my competition. I walk out of there pretty confident. Thursday night, leaving the competition center, guess what I did that night? I ate a full meal, and it was glorious. So Friday morning comes around, we're at the awards breakfast, and it's just the best thing. All the competitors were in the room, and everybody felt a lot better about the week, and everybody was confident in how they did. And they called us all up on stage, and there's, there we all are, 130 of us sitting there. They start going by trade. They go third place, second place, first place. And when they get the sheet metal trade, and they, they start going through the names, and they get ready to say first place, I felt pretty good. And what do you know? They call my name. I walk up on stage. And Mr. Jerry Gorski came and put that medal around my neck. So I'm going to wear it now. That week for me, guys, that week, that was the first time that I drank the ABC Kool-Aid. And ever since then, I've done everything I can to be involved, to help you guys help further your careers, and help train the next construction workers coming up through. In the end, through the whole competition, I want to let you guys know that there was nothing that I wasn't prepared for that I hadn't seen through my training, through my apprenticeship. It's going to be the same with you guys. You may be nervous going into it, but you'll be okay coming through it. Now, if I could, I'd like to turn my attention to this side of the room, to all the 
the chapter members and the, the, uh, the uh, construction companies that are out here, thank you for bringing these guys down here. This is a great opportunity for us. As construction workers, all we want to do is prove ourselves. We're proud in what we do. That's why when we go into a restaurant or we go to a shopping mall, first thing we look at is the construction, right? I look at the ductwork. That's all I look at. But this is a great opportunity for us to display the might of the, the merit shop contractors and how awesome that the ABC apprenticeship is. So thank you. You know, this is a chance for us to grow and elevate our careers. My career was elevated because of my week spent here competing. It's going to be the same for all these guys out here. Knowing that, next year, the year after that, the following years, bring those guys, bring those competitors down here to compete. And they don't have to be the ones that win their state competition. It can be those ones that you know have the skill set and the knowledge that they can get through the competition. Bring them down here and let them show that they're might. Let them show what your chapter can do for them. Now, back to the competitors real quick. You guys, all of you in the blue shirts, you are the best tradesmen in the best trade competition in the country. And as of today, you and I have a bond. In 2008, I was an NCC competitor. Today, I'm an NCC competitor. And until the day that I die, I am an NCC competitor. Nothing can take that away. So I asked you earlier, how many of you guys were nervous? I'm not going to ask you to raise your hands again, but I do want to ask you one thing. How about a raise of hands now? How many of you guys are construction professionals? Right? There you go, guys. Trust in your trade. Trust in your training. You're going to make it through this competition. Prove all those that invested in you that they were right. Thank you.